Yeah. Well, I think the marriage has certainly uh, improved, uh, as I feel like a lot of our players have throughout the season. I mean, you know, the idea is to try to get better from um, training camp to training camp in the regular season. But the more we play together, uh, the more experiences you have, I feel like you should improve off of that. I still feel like there's some things all of us can do a lot better. But uh, he certainly uh, has made a lot of play for it, made a lot of plays for us, and we expect him to continue to make plays for us. How much does it help the offense when you've got defense scoring, special team scoring, and just kind of take the off you got? Well, sure. I mean, our defense was just, they were pretty awesome uh, today. And then, you know, two weeks in a row with a kickoff return for a touchdown, I just can't tell you what that does uh, for uh, the entire team, especially in offense. Uh, Carolina scores, you know, they kick off, they have some momentum, and then uh, boom, uh, you're running back for a touchdown. It can be deflating to the other side. So uh, defense, special teams were awesome today. I thought offensively, I thought we were close on some things. Obviously, I've never taken winning for granted, but uh, there are some things that we can fix and need to fix, and uh, we'll learn from this film. How much have you improved since the season started, whether it be just arm strength, health, physically? How much is the team further along than you even anticipated? It was, it was hard to know what to expect on, on both counts. This is totally new territory for me uh, with, with a different team, and um, I didn't know what kind of progress I would make uh, physically. I've made some, you know, I, I continue to have uh, have some that I still need to make. I continue to have to, to do my rehab. And then, you know, the team, um, I, I think we have uh, improved on, on certain things and are developing some type of chemistry. This is not a team that's been together for four or five years, so we still have some things that we can do better. But anytime you can learn a little bit about each other, make some progress, and win some games, uh, that's a good thing. But we still need to, to get better, I think. Um, especially down this home stretch. What are your thoughts on tying, tying Dan Marino with all-time touchdowns? Well, uh, I mean, Dan Marino, after my dad retired, was my favorite quarterback growing up. So I, I think it's pretty well documented through the years when I've been asked about Dan Marino, how I feel uh, about him. And so, you know, I've never felt comfortable kind of being, uh, you know, kind of mentioned uh, amongst him. But uh, a lot of players have, uh, caught a lot of those touchdowns. So I'm grateful for all the receivers and the protection that I've received along the way. So but Marino uh, is, is one of my all-time favorites, and he's been very uh, good to me since uh, you know, he stopped playing, and I, I really appreciated his friendship. Speaking of Coach Fox was big on saying this was a business trip for him, not getting very emotional about it. For you guys as players, though, how much more do you want to get a win for him when he's coming back? Well, yeah, I mean, Coach Fox was all business during the week, and I, I can't speak for him uh, as to what this really meant to him. I have played in one of these games before when I played, uh, you know, for the Colts and Coach Dungey went back to Tampa for the first time, and you know, uh, we were fortunate to win that game as well, kind of in a in dramatic fashion. We didn't play real well in the first half, but it was his birthday, and it was, uh, it, you know, it, it was important to him and some of the assistants you know, that had come from Tampa, just like we have a number of assistants as well. So, uh, you like to win a game, you know, for those guys, but those guys are professional. All we I know they have. Um, great memories of their time here, and so, but, but to win that game, uh, to win this game for them, uh, it was something that the players wanted to do. Hey, hey. Talk, talk about as, maybe as a peer standpoint, your your impression of Cam Newton early in his career, what you what you see. You know, it, I, I really, I, I have so much on my plate. I, I have not. Uh, sometimes <laughs> people ask me to speak on other quarterbacks, and I, I guess I probably used to study other guys a little bit more, but uh, this. This year has been such a whirlwind for me. I, I just haven't had a chance to study too many other quarterbacks and um, um, you know try to study myself and kind of these new these new teams. But uh, so I'm probably the wrong guy to ask. Peyton, you are getting to the point in your career where a milestone or moving up a place on an all-time list happens almost every game. Today it happens when you share it with so many special teams and defense. I think might have outscored the offense today. Like I said, hey, it's um, sometimes you know the media will divide a team into three different teams: the Broncos offense, the Broncos defense, the Broncos special teams. And you write about them as if it's actually three different teams, when we all actually are on the same team. Uh, you, you didn't know that, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I suppose you can't score at the right. So but punt like, return. The Broncos, you know, scored those scored those touchdowns, and I'm in favor of any time 
anybody on the team wants to score a touchdown, I'm, I'm for it. Uh, and uh, our defense was outstanding today. It was fun to watch, uh, to see our D-line get up the field, and our guys cover. And like I said, two weeks in a row, kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, it's uh, all those guys on kickoff return deserve a ton of credit. And offensively, um, uh, we certainly uh, feel like we left some points out there. Some things we need to, to do better and improve on. Need to be better on third down. Have to eliminate turning the ball over, especially near the red zone. Uh, like I said, Jim Moore, my, my, my first head coach, told me don't ever take winning for granted. And especially uh, now that I'm you know this far into my career, I, I, I especially know that to be true. But uh, certainly, there's some things we can learn from on the field. Jim, you were deciding to play football this year. How much was who the head coach was going to be? part of that decision. I'm sorry? How much of who the head coach was going to be was part of your decision? Well, I certainly knew all the head coaches in the teams that I was I was looking at. Every team I was looking at had a, had a head coach, and so I was comfortable with all of those uh, all of those coaches. And, uh, you know, I've enjoyed getting to know Coach Fox. I, I've known him for a long time uh, as an opponent, played against him, I guess, three different times, uh, the Giants and, and here in Carolina. And, Known from a couple of Pro Bowls, but until you play for a guy, you really don't know everything about him. And I'm continuing to learn about him, you know, throughout different parts of the season, and uh, you know, I, I am enjoying playing for him. I will say that. What, 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 what attributes what about him as a head coach have you learned that you didn't realize? Oh, you know, like I said, I really didn't didn't have any. Uh, you know, you, it takes a little while to kind of get to know a head coach, and uh, I, I just uh, I, I enjoy being around Coach Fox. I think the players played hard for him. You know, I think they don't want to let him down. He's very fair to the players, and uh, he, he uh, gets us ready to play. And as a result, I think the players, and at least I do, I want to play well for him, don't want to let him down. Last Four question, Aaron, wins, please. Four straight wins, Peyton, three in a row on the road. Is this team starting to hit its stride? Like I said, it's kind of like last week. I mean, what are we? Six and we're six and three, right? That's that's all I know that we are. Uh, I don't know anything more than that. You know, strides, uh, uh, top the rankings, and all that. I think that's all for for other people. But for us, um, it, it's it is tough to win on the road. I, I will say that. So you cannot take that for granted. Got a huge division game coming up against San Diego, and everybody talks about how we came back the first time we played them, but. You also remember that you were down 24 nothing for a reason because they came out and made a lot of plays and we did some things uh, poorly to put us in that position. So the previous game, records go out the window in these division games, especially the second time around. We got them at home. It's a huge game for us. Uh, we need to play better uh, offensively than we did today. Uh, but uh, you know, it'd be nice to keep you know winning games. But it'll be a tough challenge next week. Thanks, Pete. Thanks.